Hey friends, so we just made a duct tape Bible marker. You remember we've done this before with sewing, but this one's super easy. And if you've got some duct tape around, man, you really can do this. It's really terrific. You're gonna need duct tape, two strips, and they need to be twice as long as the Bible that you're gonna put it in. All right, so let's do that. Let me show you. So it's about well, it looks like it's a little under, but that's about as long as you get. And that way you can trim it if you want to. So I'm going to pull it off. And I need it to be, I need it to be, I'm going to kind of stick that down so I know where I'm at. I'm going to have to turn this over. So let's do two strips. Good. And I just tear it. Now you can cut it with scissors if you want. It better be really sharp scissors. They're a little challenging to do. So on one end, we're going to have the the little elastic hair uh, hair tie. So that, and then we'll also need a wooden bead. And this one looks kind of like a button. Do you see that? And we're going to use a brad to put through it and then we'll put some tape on the back and that'll hold it. No sewing. <laughs> That's so great because I'm kind of a no sew teacher. So that works out really good. So there we go. I'm going to put the hair tie on first. Good. Good. Oh, don't stretch it too much. Just put it on. All right. Let me pull it over here so you can see it better. I'm going to put that on kind of roll that up so it attaches. Good. And then on this one, I'm going to start adding it. So I'm going to overlap that just a tinge. And now I've got it taped down really good to the table. And I can line it up nice and straight, pulling it tight, smoothing it down just like that. Pretty simple. Pull that up, wrap it around so that way it's reinforced. That little, that little elastic piece will be good. And then on this end, I want to add the uh, button or the bead that goes here. So we're going to need to cut that just a little slit. So I'm going to fold it over just a little bit. And you can see we put it about right there. You can see that. All right, so I'm going to cut a little slit with some scissors. Good. Good. All right, now I want to put the bead in my hand, and I'm just going to put the brad through it like that where it sticks out, and then place the, blur the brad through the little slit that I cut. And I'm going to turn that to the side and open up the little tabs so that the button stays in place. Now I need to add a little piece of duct tape just to cover those brads because I don't want it to come off. So I'm just going to tear off a little piece and place it right across there because it's on the back side. No one's going to see that. Fold down that sticky edge so we don't want it to stick to any pages. And there you have it, just like the other one. So I hope you'll give it a try. It'll be super easy and your kids will enjoy doing it. It just takes a little time. Don't get frustrated. Patience is very important. <laughs> but if you have different kinds of duct tape, that'll make a big difference too. They have choices. I hope you'll give it a try. It's your duct tape Bible marker.